time, so I seem stable. But when we observe our status as feet, we often observe by what we see. When we hear, feel, taste, or smell, something doesn't smell right, they think there's something wrong. But if it smells pleasant, we think everything's okay. A sweet taste can be concealing the deadliness of <coughs> a cyanide in a drink. We can feel warmth about us not knowing that the temperature is rising. And we can see what seems to be a pleasant day and not that small cloud out of a hand is about to bring it into a drought. Our survey of our status of the Lord is our reasoning about it. But you know our <laughs> And we're often not requesting deliverance because we don't feel like we're in bondage because we're doing what we have chosen. us according to your sovereign will before the world was made requires of us by faith to listen to your word as you over time speak to us through the present and future times speak to us and say unto us holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. We can't be holy without you. And being holy pleases you. And the difference between holy and unholy is accomplished by your Holy Spirit. Free us from the thoughts that we can work it out through the Deliver us into that place of yes to your will. Where whatever you say, we say yes. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. yes, Lord, when you can pick our hearts and things and call us to repentance. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. When the enemy comes in like a flood. Yes, Lord. And you quicken in us to stand against that flood in your righteousness. Yes, when relationships seem to break down and the warmth we call for is not the bonding you would have us to have. Yes. But what between our hearts is to exist and please you is you yes, yes to those relationships yes. Yes. yes yes to your commands of love yes yes Lord Jesus to your definition of love yes yes to the work of blood at Calvary shed that power has not been lost. Yes! To the forgiveness from our sins of which we repented and been redeemed. They having been atoned for by the blood of Christ. Yes to your will. Yes to your word. Yes to your touch. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, yes Lord. Yes to your word as it prepares and he prepares to flow among us. Touch our hearts, our minds, touch our receptors and our understanding that what you're speaking to our individual hearts is what you want us to hear. Yes, Lord. What you're saying to us collectively. 
we collectively say yes, yes. Amen. 
But there is sometimes a force of forcing of what God wants, the application of giving. And there are persons who will get up and make you feel guilty for not giving. And then proceed to convince you that what you do not have to give, you ought to give. Now, the Bible says, and there are some church groups that follow this practice, bring tithe and offering to the church. Amen. And the purpose is that its operations can be completed. Amen. The applications of such funding should be applied through the stewardship of the church body or those who have been designated that there not only be sufficiency for those who work in the ministry, but for those who come in with need. Amen. It was not designed to be a means whereby folk who have a need for a temporal thing come and drain what's in the house. That was not the design. Amen. And though we should do things in our community, Amen. the purpose of giving in the church is that those who live in the ministry can live by the giving and those who are part of the body Amen. of that group first be considered where needs of a temporal nature is concerned. Amen. It is also those who live and operate in the ministry part of calling is to go into all the world. That's right. So you support the going into all the world, but not by any means necessary. Yeah. For example, we don't think there's anything wrong. Some groups who take money from drug dealers with accepting money from gamblers. In fact, people who gamble and come and ask people who pray to pray for them to hit a number. Mm -hmm. And it was a big problem back in the 50s, 60s, the bowling and the numbers games and the running. It just has a new name and a different sophistication. Mm -hmm. But folk would come to religious tone services or gatherings. And there were those who would use scripture mm. to give what the number to be played that week is. Mm. And folk would play and many times win. Mm. That's not the plan God put in place for me. Amen. The Bible says God will supply all of our needs. Yes. Now our needs are what we need. Jesus said we need something to eat, mm -hmm. we need something to drink, we need something to put on. Now we've extended that to shelter, mm -hmm. models of transportation, Amen. types of garments, Amen. bling, Amen. in ring, and other means. We've made it all of these things. Amen. But the giving to the church is not to make you a fascination. All right mm -hmm. now. To the world Amen. as leader of those who are supposed to be humble. All right now. Yes. There's nothing wrong with modesty. Amen. Capitalism says if you sow a certain way, you get a type of return. Uh -huh. But that's in the world. Mm -hmm. That's a temporal thing. Mm -hmm. And the temporal is temperamental. Amen. As missionary Yvonne. When says the temporal is subject to change. Amen. But God doesn't change. Amen. And God's purpose doesn't change. Amen. The matter of which he executes his purchase, purpose uh, unfolds to us. Yes. But he doesn't change. And his goal is sold one to the kingdom. Amen. Those who have the laudable goals of the temporal need of man being met, there's nothing wrong with that. Amen. But 
But that is not the purpose of the church. Amen. It can be a part of what they seek to accomplish. Amen. But our primary responsibility is when it holds the king. Amen. Not bring finance into the king. Amen. King, yes. Not finance. Yes. It's accomplishes the will of God. Amen. Because through faith, God was able to take a woman yes. who was dried up Lord and cast the flower of her year. Yes. And a man who was older than that. Yes, Lord. And bring into this world through conception yes. in the good old way. Yes, Lord. A seed of promise. Amen. And through that line, our Savior came. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we say, give, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. Press down, good measure, shaken together, and running over shall men give to your book, place in your apron, make available to you. But you ought to make certain that you're giving, you do it as unto God. Amen. And if God is glorified, yes. you are denied that glory. Amen. That's good. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God gave us his son. Amen. And son's effect mm. in our lives has not changed. <laughs> Amen. The unfortunate thing is we so quickly change. Amen. Let me say I'd like to greet it through the streaming program of process. Our own sister Holly Harmon is looking in. She's in Haiti now. She sent her first report through God gave her safe passage Praise the Lord. from here to my Fort Lauderdale, I'm sorry, to Haiti. And she's not only I made contact, but it already mm. begun in the mission before the members of our team arrived. Praise the Lord. When God puts you in a plan and in a program, and you follow what God says do, you connect with those God has in place to meet with you to accomplish His goal, which we can't see anything but our part in it. Amen. And we can see our part in it and humble ourselves yes. to be he has us to be in it, not trying to fix it. Yes. For him, God will be glorified. Amen. Other, otherwise, flesh will be amplified. Amen. And when the flesh is amplified, no flesh mm. can glory in the presence of Hallelujah, God. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Right. There is the flesh and there is the spirit, and there is this ongoing contention. Yes. It's worse than sibling robbery. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Paul had talked to the people in Galatia. And the Galatians had received the word. A strong, powerful word of faith. That you don't have to continue in your sins. You can be delivered from your sins. Man. And it was received. Man. That there is one true gospel. Yes. One, that the one who preached it to them was called of God. Amen. And he gave the order in which his calling came. Yes. How, though there are some who still have fears about his past, yes. what Christ does with your past is none of your business. All right now. You just know it's gone. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're sick, you don't go looking for where the disease went. Hey, You're just right. glad it's not in you. You're just right. glad you can't give it to somebody else. Amen. But when you are healed of that condition, yes. you can glorify God for deliverance, yes. but you don't amplify the condition. Yes, Lord. Praise, the Lord. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. I was blind. Hey, thank you. Jesus. You know I was bumping into cars, and I bumped into walls, and I stumbled over the commode, and I dropped food in my lap. All like that. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Honor that. Don't laugh about that. That's not a big deal. Amen. Folk have a sense of blindness. This close your eyes. That's how I was. But yes, yes. my eyes were open. Hallelujah. 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 And now I can see. Yes. Paul had a record of a blind mind. Seeing my optically only what the law could show. Because he was a student 
and practitioner of the law. Amen. His heart was in the law. Amen. The ability to reason, to bring into focus that which applied primarily to him. Amen. But he found out there's something else. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's more God expects of us Amen. than the ten. And all of the hundreds of ceremonial commandments. Yes. God expects something from within. Yes. And he thought that the something from within was that which was akin to the natural man. Yes. Amen. But the something God expects from within, he discovered, is his son. Yes. Something within me. Hallelujah. Hold us the ring. Yes. yes. Something within. Vanishes pain. Hallelujah. Something within me. Yes. I can't explain it. But I know it's there. Yes. I can't define it. I know it's there. Amen. But I can proclaim it. Yes. That it is yes. the Son of God yes. living inside of me. Yes. Telling me to go ahead. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the stop signs come up and the barriers to prevent our progress in God arise, Jesus is saying, go ahead. Yeah. It's an illusion of the enemy. Yeah. Walk right through. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 Mm -hmm. So the Galatians had to find out that this man had been where they are now. Blinded in his mind. But when he met Jesus, he got blind physically also. So he understood spiritual blindness, and he understood or mental blindness, and he understood physical blindness. Amen. And it was from those who were once blind yes. that God sent him to get his sight back. Amen. He sent him there to get spiritual sight or insight. But that his eyes could be opened. Yes. And that when the man he was coming to take into prison, lay hands on yes. and prayed for him, yes. he saw not less than himself, yes. but equal to himself. Jesus. He saw that before God, yes. we are all sinners. Yes. But in him, yes. we are all become brothers. Yes. He chronicled the, 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 the Ishmael. Isaac difference because of half of heritage. Yes. Because one had a different mother than the other. One being bond and the other being free. Yes. And oh, God yes, said yes. in the freedom yes. and liberty of your surrender to me, I'll bring a son of promise. Hallelujah. Yes. And through that line, Jesus came. Amen. Praise, the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Galatians were getting a full understanding and they accepted it. Yeah. They received it. Yeah. And here, right here, the third chapter, where they had been freed from all of this difficulty where the law is concerned. Mm -hmm. God be circumcised. Have to do this and have to do that. He says that law is not able to bring you salvation. It can bring you acceptance in the eyes of those that believe that our deliverance from sin is in the law. No, it is a knowledge of sin that the law brings us and we know that sin is transgression against God's law. So the knowledge that there is something doesn't please God, doesn't deliver you from displeasing God. Amen. It gives you the knowledge of it, and as Paul said in the 7th chapter of Romans, I want to do all. But every time I don't want to, I can't find how not to do all. Mm -hmm. The will to do is present, but the power to perform is absent. And when I look at myself in this quagmire, pull this way, pull that way, and over above saying, lift up your head, yeah. I'm confounded as to what to do. I see myself as undone, wretched. Mm. 
as we brought out last week, the two laws with which we're dealing is the law of the flesh yes. and the law of the spirit. Yes. I feel this other law rising up in me. Yes. In my flesh. Trying to bring me into captivity. Yes. But there's a law that transcends any regulation, any law, any rule, any, any protocol Amen. of the flesh. Amen. And that law is the law of the spirit yeah. of life. And that's found in Christ Jesus. Amen. And the explanation of living for him was given and the Galatians accepted. <laughs> and they sought to learn more about what Paul was saying by learning the rules. Hearing the truth, but learning the rules. Ever learning, never coming into the knowledge of the truth. Amen. There is a hearing of the truth and ability to <laughs> recite it and draw it up to be considered intellectually because you assent to it intellectually. Amen. But there is a knowing yes. that is a warm course with the knowledge of the truth. Amen. And we know the Bible says in Psalms 1 yes. that the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. Yes. It means he has interaction, intercourse with the righteous and the result of that interaction is his will being performed. Amen. Amen. It shall perish yes. because there's no way God is going to interact with ungodliness. You'll yes. destroy it if you submit yourself to Him Amen. for that kind of cleansing. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Yes. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? There is a washing, and they will. Happened to this, this generation of Galatians. They were referred to by Paul as foolish. Oh, ye foolish Galatians. Who hath, yes, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1, who hath bewitched you? That you should not obey the truth. Amen. Before whose eyes Jesus Christ has been evidently set forth without any doubt. There is evidence that Christ has been set forth before you. Has been set forth, crucified among you. Who bewitched you? That's our children. Who said something to you that convinced you not to do what your parents told you to do at school? Amen. You know they say it clearly to you, this is what they expect. Amen. They gave examples of what happens when people do what they say. And what happens when people don't do what they say. You don't have an excuse for not. Who messed with your mind? Nobody mess with my mind. I, my mind is my head. Mm -hmm. I don't let anybody pay rent and take up space in my head. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. Because not an original thought comes out of your head. Mm -hmm. Listen to what you say. Amen. And then you'll go to some book and quote somebody who agreed with you that makes you right. Amen. If I, the Holy Spirit, yes. have not given it to you, it doesn't make you right. As I said, the literal writing, the characters joined together, the words form and the sentence made don't make the truth. Amen. But we who are believers hold the Holy Scripture as a rule for faith and practice. Yes. And we believe what God was saying to us is what he meant. Amen. To 
often we don't think he knows, excuse me, what he meant. Amen. So we improve on it. Mm. We find a way to look at it from that angle. And look at it from that angle. All right. And go into the etymological basis of words we use in communicating with each other. When Paul said, I went somewhere one day. Yeah. I won't call the man's name he said. But he went up. Into a place, yes, Lord. into a heavenly place, yes. and found in that realm things that were said yes. that he understood but were not even legal mm. or lawful yes. to speak down here. Why? Because it would be unintelligible to us because he went up in the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
of the Father, yes. but by me. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm willing to do what it takes yes. to bring all men. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. According to the will of the Father. Yes. That 27 chapter, verse 50, the Bible says, he said it's finished. And it's in thy hands I commend my spirit. The breath that came into that body, the word was made flesh. Praise the Lord. And he dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, even as the only God and the Father, Father full of grace and truth. That breath, that spirit that went into him, hallelujah, yes. into that into that formation, yes. returned to the Father yes. when he gave up the ghost. Yes. He had a stop by in the lower part of the earth. Yeah. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Hey, before he even got down there, yeah. he had given up the ghost. Yeah. And the Bible says the lightning flashed. The earthquake. Yeah. The graves popped over. Yeah. The great yes. came to sit from old. Yes. And they walked the streets of Jerusalem. Yes. And those who knew about them yes. saw them with their own big holding eyes. Yes. And the centurion yes. who participated in the crucifixion, yes. he said, Surely! Yes. Hallelujah! Surely! Yes. This is the Son yes. of God. Son of God, yes. the earth has wake, yes. the lightning has flashed, yes. the day has risen, yes. and I love you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And those who really knew him, yes. they were really his disciples. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Joseph of Aaron the Thief, yes. he came on the scene. Yes. He said, I know him. Yes. I'm not going to deny him. Yes. I know him. Yes. I'm not going to hide from him. Yes. Not only do I know him, yes. But I want his dead body. Yes. Praise, the yes. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me have the body. Yes. The spirit. Yes, I know who the spirit is. Yeah. Because he taught us about that. Yes, Lord. I haven't forgotten. Yeah. But you foolish <coughs> Galatians. Who bewitched you? That you not obey the truth. Yeah. That you not be an example of the believer. You're doing what the Greeks do. Yeah. You're doing what the other folks are doing. Yeah. You're trying to show somebody through works, but you're not believing yeah. in the depth that you're standing for. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would we'll say to the world, it is real. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Lord. This only what I learned of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law yeah. or by the hearing of faith? The Bible tells us faith cometh by hearing. hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Which is the Spirit of God. Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's look over in John chapter 6. Here John, Jesus is talking from the account of John by the Holy Ghost, that this new covenant and institution of Passover is saying Paschal Lamb is no longer something running around with wool. And the bloodshed is nothing to be spilled and have no value afterwards. Song was sung this morning, the blood that Jesus shed from day to day, it will never lose its power. You may feel like you're in the depth of depravity and depression. But the blood reaches yes. not only to the highest mountain, but it flows to the lowest value, yes. valley. And if you see up in some average tower, thinking you are 
away from the effects of the blood that the enemy has deceived you again. Yeah. It reaches right where you are. Yeah. Because you're nowhere high if you're not in him. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Oh, Lord. You can be high on something, <laughs> but in him yeah. you have to be humble. Yeah. You have to come not down to earth, yeah. but to the essence yeah. of who God made you to be. Yeah. And the purpose for which that creation came to pass. Yeah. It's by the will of God that we were made. Yeah. Stop killing yourself. Yeah. Stop killing each other. Yeah. Stop biting and chewing on one another. Yeah. Stop calling names. Yes. Call on the name of Jesus. Yes. And he will free you from all those names that don't apply to your brother. Yes, Lord. I'm not fussing. I'm not. I'm preaching yes. what the Preach. Lord has said. Yes. This new institution yes. of Passover is me being the yes. sacrificial lamb. Yes. Me being the sacrifice. Yes. That I am the sacrifice. The Father who sent me is it just. Yes. Amen. And the one before whom justification is to take place. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When he said, eat my body, mm. drink my blood. Mm. As the living Father has sent me and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me he shall live by me. In other words, there is no place of contamination between me and the Father. There is nothing that can come into me that can't go into you and do you good. The only thing that can come to me that's not good are you with your sins. And the Father can bring a separation by the Son who is the Word. Amen. Oh, we don't see that? Come on. Yes. Amen. Turn to, to Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. I am the Father one. When you see me, you see the Father. The Father. How long have I been with you and you don't know? Oh, you foolish yelling. <laughs> You changed already? Are you trying to tell me now that you have known the truth and it's been presented to you and you have accepted it? You're saying you can go back to the works under the law. Were you saved by the works of the law or by faith? Amen. Somebody read that in Hebrews. 4 and 12. 4 and 12, please. For the word of God is quick. Oh, the word of God is what? Quick. Quick. And that powerful. don't mean real fast. <laughs> quick here means is alivening. Yeah. Not just livens, but it gives life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Life is instant. Mm -hmm. It's instant. It's a place that you can't grab it. Mm. So what we try to do right. is crush all around to kill it. Mm. They beat his body, but he's alive. Hey, hallelujah. They came that we could have it and have it more abundantly. Yes, Lord. And our mere existence that's external or apparent is not what true life is. Yes. That's life in the flesh or the temporal. Alive. Sorry is the Greek for it. Yeah. It speaks of the outward person. <coughs> but Jesus Christ over here in, in John, we're still holding there in Hebrew. Jesus here in, in, in John is saying that I am the only nutritional yeah. benefit for the regenerated man. Yeah. And there's nothing that you should have that you can't get from me. Amen. When a mother is carrying a child, everything that child gets and eliminates takes place in her. And when that child is birthed into the world, into the world, that mother is still right there nurturing. Amen. If she's a mother like a mother ought to be. Amen. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Or a mother by the design that God gave. Amen. There have been mothers who fed their children and they went homeless. Mothers went homeless. Amen. And the child was living and the mother died. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise but the Lord. there is enough in God's plan to Amen. take care of everyone that God sent. Amen. And as angry as we are on the subject of abortion, Life comes from God. That's right. And you can be the fetus, you can be a, a, a new life, and you can get the scientists to agree with you. But there's no life that's going to go without God having something to do with it. Amen. I didn't say God say blow a hole in somebody's head, but people do that. Amen. Cut somebody's head off, people do that. Fall someone, people do that. That's out of evil. But Amen. God knows how to work it for good because life comes from Him. That's right. And if life comes from him, why are you afraid when you know that those who were killed trying to get a hold of Moses have redeemed him through the innocence of their blood? Yeah. That those who were killed when evil was trying to get a hold of the baby Jesus yeah. have redeemed him through the innocence of their blood. Yeah. But by the blood of the everlasting covenant, yeah. all of us yeah. have redemption through the atonement yes. of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And we're sitting here fighting over something. If there's innocence and redemption, do they have a soul? If they have a soul, where is their soul? Yes. Amen. Amen. That's the soul of the Lord. Yes. But we're going to kill each other and beat each other up and no children come and there's no care for them and I'm against abortion. What are you going to do for them then? Call them freeloaders? Mm. Call them loafers? Mm. Call them losers? Mm. Call them takers? Mm. Call them drainers on our society? Us, because I only have three houses. I used to have ten. And you can't even go one room of each room uh, in, in the house at a time. That's right. I only have five billion dollars saved up for my legacy. If your legacy to your children is a dollar bill, you let them bankrupt. Amen. If it's a billion dollars, you let them bankrupt. Amen. For the love of money love. is the root of all evil. Amen. And what you love, you ought to leave to your children. Amen. If you love the Lord, you give them a, a legacy and eternal life. Amen. Praise the Lord. 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 Don't let that which can harm a body yes. get you all aroused mm -hmm. and excited. Mm -hmm. But fear the one yeah, yes. who can destroy the body and then cast your soul mm -hmm. hey. into hell. Amen. Hatred <laughs> brings about fear. Mm -hmm. And fear torments you to the point that you lash out at good. Amen. And good is what God calls good, Amen. not what we call good. Amen. And the Galatians thought it was a good thing that he did, good deed, but God wants the glory in it so you can know how things that you have never dreamed of can be accomplished. Amen. I want to be a great saint. You can dream of that. I want to be in the NFL. You can dream of that. NBA, you can dream of that. 60% of those who retired from the NBA are bankrupt today. Mm. And many of them are absolutely broke. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus says there's a new covenant. Mm. And a new Passover is you eat me and there's nothing between you and, and me that will cause some kind of distortion in your development and in your health Amen. if you eat <laughs> yeah. me. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise These Lord. things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. And who didn't understand? Those who are not in the spirit. Amen. Those who are not of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Praise Men therefore of his <laughs> disciples, when they heard this, his disciples mm. said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? When Jesus knew in himself that his disciples.
disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Does this offend you? What offends you today of uh, what God said mm. when he said, Be holy? All right now. Acceptance is how you get where you are long suffering. You don't tolerate, bring about acceptance, and live so long. That's the opposite way. He accepted us. He allowed a lot of stuff to go on. God's not tolerated because he's not in it. And he doesn't extend for us to tolerate it. Sin is still a reproach to any people. Righteousness still exalts a nation. Amen. When you're talking about the words of the flesh and, 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 and the deeds of the law. No, I'm talking about a heart that has been regenerated cannot be content sinning or embracing sinner. Amen. In their drunken stupor of life. Amen. Don't care how bad the situation is in the community. You don't have an excuse to sell drugs. Amen. Matters not how difficult the odds are. You don't have a reason. Insanity. Within the bounds of sanity to sell your body. Amen. If God said it's wrong, it's wrong. Amen. If God says it's a sin, it's a sin. Yes. We can make a law here that says it's okay. Amen. But it's still a sin. That's right. Drunkenness, intoxication, bombed out your mind. Whether it's on earth or it's on something distilled, it's still against what God said you are to do with yourself. That's right. You'll take God to everything you take into yourself. I said there's nothing between. If you eat him, All right now. why are you offended when your body rejects the thing? another drink. Amen. A husband at the door says, don't mess with my wife. Mm. All right now. And a wife with a razor says the same thing. Right. Don't mess with my husband. Amen. All right. A guard at the bank says, don't take this money. Amen. And a woman says, don't mistreat these people. Amen. And Jesus says yes. to Satan, Hallelujah. Get thee behind me. Hallelujah. Lay down so I can put my foot on your neck. Yes. So I heal. Hallelujah. Can crush me. Yes, Lord. So that the power you have is taken away. Yes. And he cut your head and crushed. You can't poison anymore. Yes. You can just Hallelujah. tell the fuck I can still bite you. Yes. But the head and your fangs and crushed. righteous work, but that's not righteousness. Amen. Righteousness comes from the inside. Yes. Righteousness becomes a part of your new nature. Amen. Your new nature is in Him. Yes. The Word of God is quick. Yes. The Word of God is powerful. powerful. Yes, Lord. That means it has the dynamics to accomplish work. And work that was accomplished in the Word at Calvary is still effective in everyone who comes 
come to him by faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise what else is the word? A sharp sharper than any. Than any. Two edged sword. Amen. Now, think about a two edged sword, he cuts both ways. Hey. Just like sin out in the world is sin. Sin in the church is sin. Yes, it is. In fact, it's exceedingly sinful in the church because it's pouring it out okay. in some of the churches. All right now. There's some churches you got an excuse for everything you do. Amen. And they will accept that reason. Just make sure you show up on Sunday so numbers can be up. All right now. Just make sure you get that money so the coffers can be full. Amen. Keep your money. Mm. Okay. Keep your presence. Come in the presence of God and holy, you're not in his presence. You enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise, and you can't praise when you don't mean righteousness. Amen. You can sing with the choir. Yes. You can sing with the praise team. Amen. You can clap when the dancers come up. But you leave here the devil, you can't. Yes. You just feel a little better about yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm satisfied with the mood of the spirit today. No. Is the spirit satisfied with you? Yes, that's the question. You sitting down there on the bench saying, ah, you almost got me up there this time. Mm. You don't have the next time promised to you. Amen. The next time, it just may be something else. Mm. Okay. It may be somebody else. Amen. You know, I just love the way you sing them songs. What's your phone number? Mm -hmm. Pastor, you show me how to <laughs> preach. I, 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 do you Twitter? I don't need to go online. I don't need to blog to know what God wants me to say to you. Amen. God has not forgotten you. Amen. He hasn't forgotten what you're doing. Amen. And he knows you're trapped into a behavior because you have been given some false teacher. You foolish Galatian, yes. how quickly yes. you've gone back to what you were in mm. before. Oh, walking after the law. That governs flesh actions. How could it happen? This is not God asking. This is Paul convicting. The word of God is asking them, how can this happen? You're offended? Because what I told you back then, you're bothered about God expects you to live holy? I won't say the same in my body. What it will develop in you is what God wants you to have. Eat it, believe it, believe it. Assimilate it into your daily practice. You be on me, as the scripture says, what will be produced? Rivers. Yes. Of living water from within you. Yes. The water won't just quench your thirst. Yes. It will yes. satisfy your soul. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will refresh you in a dry time. Yes, Lord. Does this offend you? Mm. I beat on you. Mm. I called you. Yes. I showed you my power. Amen. And you're offended. Mm. Because I say eat me. Well, it won't make us stronger because we're not supposed to be cannibals. That's not what this is about. Amen. Joseph of Arimathea didn't take Jesus' body down. Take home, butcher it up, and start chewing on it. No, he didn't. The Bible says he took the body down and wrapped it. Mm. And cleaned it. Yes. Hallelujah. Just yes, got him ready for bed. Mm. Praise the yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. No bomb and none of that. He just wrapped. Wrapped up tight, something like a baby in swaddling clothes. All right now. Because he knew yes. the end wasn't the doom. Yes. Temporary. Yes. Subject to change. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. We shall be changed. Yes. Changed from mortal. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you are offended. Mm. And what if ye 
shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before. Is that too an offense to you? I told you I was going to do that. These things had to come back to their mind while they were hiding. When Joseph was asking for the body and a disciple of Jesus, he didn't go and secretly ask for it. He went to Pilate. I'm his disciple, I want his body. Mm -hmm. And since I know his promise, I'm going to put him in a grave that's never been used. All right, no. Because I'm rich enough to buy him one, but he's not going to need it long. All right. Yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because the word of God is quick. Yeah. It's alive. Yeah. It's full of life. Yeah. And from the life, it exudes new life. It's Hallelujah. The genesis of new life is the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Here we are. Verse 63 of St. John 6. It is the spirit that quickens. Yes. It's the spirit that makes us alive. Yes. It's the spirit that gives us flesh. Flesh profiteth nothing. Yes. Pause. I want you to consider this, people. The flesh has no benefit when it comes to real life. Yes. Yes. It's quick. The word of God. Is sharp. The word of God. Well, this is what else he said. The final clause. These words. I, the word of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Speak unto you. Yeah. They are. Spirit. Mm -hmm. They quit. The power. Mm -hmm. The sharp. Yeah. And they are like. Yes, hallelujah. Some of the Galatians went back to death mm. because he put a value on the flesh mm. that did not accomplish mm. what God's purpose for their living in the spirit under the law of the spirit of life in Christ yes. had been ordained would be their portion. Have you done that? I'm going to talk and close. I, I told you I'm going to get all of it. Uh, it's a lot of to get to. we got to stop failing to preach against sin. They are contrary one to the other. Finish that scripture in Hebrews. Sharper than any two edged sword. For the word of God is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two edged sword. Yes. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. Now, and the word of God is so precise. That it can be between your soul and your spirit. Now you can kind of get the bone and marrow deal. But you know you can have a marrow transplant, gra grafting like that. But your soul and your spirit, God has a space of division between that. Mm. You ever seen somebody, man, you got a dead spirit. Mm -hmm. Man, the spirit in this place is where are all the team spirit. Mm -hmm. Death in the spirit of the team and death to their right because they lose it. Mm -hmm. You all know what I'm talking about, Dagwa fans. Amen. <laughs> and 
a new owner came. And when the season was right, all over, he put separation yes, he did. <laughs> between those who were dead and those who were promoting death. Yes. He got a new head coach. Mm -hmm. He got a new coaching staff. Got the same team. Mm. Mm. If any man can buy a football team and things change with the same folk by changing that perception mm. that they have of themselves, yes. what about God? Yes. Hallelujah. Any man, yes. Black man, white man. Yes. 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 Yes.
Friday. and holiness and godliness it will follow the extreme order of that thing Amen. and you can crop righteousness down over it and say it's good but it's not all right now Amen. jesus said do these words offend you do you think what you're doing offends him yes yes hallelujah Sin is a reproach to any people. Yes, it is. And it's a reproach from God concerning what he said he wants. Yes. You go out here, oh, we want to see, we want to hear from you. You don't want to help them. You don't want to get caught up in your own yes. weakness. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I look for, out for you when you were doing perverted things. Well, then you look out for me now that doing too much of the normal. Homemug is still a homemug. Yeah, I don't care what you have as a preference, it's still the same. Amen. And don't think because you're a man and like a man that you don't cheat. Amen. That you're a woman and, and, and like a woman and you cheat. Young people is wrong. Amen. It's sin. Amen. God did not make men to marry men. Amen. He said it is an abomination to do it. And likewise the same thing with a woman. Yes, he did. Don't lay with somebody like they what you are. Mm -hmm. As if they are what it was a part of the great design of God. Amen. You're out of your mind. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself for going along with it. Amen. Amen. That's right. Leave politics alone. I'm not bothered with politics. I'm talking about holiness. Amen. That's right. The Bible says, without you, you're not going to see the Lord. Amen. Now, if you don't love them enough and want to see them, they go and do it. Jesus, help I, I have to close. I don't want to close. <laughs> Book of St. John and the book of St. Luke. Book of St. John. The Lord talks about the soul who went out to soul. And he says, Some of the seeds fell on good soil. Some of you guys had it good. You ought to be ashamed of how bad you're doing. Amen. <clears throat> because it's not that the seed was bad. It was where it fell. Mm -hmm. How you were destined to fall on you. Mm. You got stony places in your heart. Mm. And you got places with thickets in your heart and thorns in your heart. But I am an optimist about what we have in our hearts. And that's there is also good soil. Amen. Good seed and good soil brings good fruit. Amen. The Bible says some of the seeds <laughs> fell on stony ground. Some of the seeds fell among the thickets, among thorns, and some of them fell on good ground. What's growing in your life? The mm. Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 12 that the tree is known by the fruit it bears. Amen. In the explanation of this parable, the Lord said, the seed is the word of God. Amen. Some of this stuff sown into your heart is not God's word. Amen. It's what has become an intolerant issue Amen. that 
is now an accepted practice. Amen. Mm. And nowhere did God change his mind. Mm. And we're sitting acting as if some activists who are telling the world America is not a Christian nation, not the behavior of a few, speaks for the whole conscience of the country. Amen. The country by and large did not hate black people. Mm -hmm. But there were a few who were determined mm -hmm. that those who were slaves will not be equal. Mm -hmm. And now we're living in a day where it doesn't matter the color of your skin. Amen. And that's not in the Bible that that separation should be by that. Amen. Because in Christ we're one. You can't be in Christ in sin. Girls are marrying white boys and white girls are marrying black boys. Men and women. Amen. I'm glad to say that. Because it's a man and a woman that constitute marriage Amen. and holiness. Amen. You can try and make it anything you want to, but you're going to have to pay for that. Amen. You're going to have to answer to God for that. Amen. It was covered in Calvary too. Mm -hmm. But when, 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 when the Romans were dealt the message through Paul from the Holy Spirit yeah. that when they knew God see you, you're going to learn the rituals. You learn the protocols. You learn the, the um, liturgics of it. The liturgy. Then you come back and think because you can perform in order that you are ordained mm. of God to lead worship. Because mm. you can play the organ, you're supposed to be a pastor. Mm. Because you can make a good point in Sunday school, you're supposed to be a preacher. Mm -hmm. One of the greatest messages ever spoken of the gospel was preached by a deacon. Mm -hmm. Amen. And it was preached when he died. Amen. He knew what his calling was. Yes. And your calling is not your passion. Amen. Amen. That's your call of you. Amen. Amen. But God called us to cleanness. Amen. To holiness. Amen. To righteousness. You want justice. Justice is fine. But the just God is going to judge those who live and walk by faith. The just shall live by faith. Amen. The faith which cometh by the word, who is the one of whom we preach today? Seeds fell everywhere. But the good seed of the word falling in the good soil of the heart yes. will cause life to come between soul and spirit and hold them together in the will of God. Amen. Yes. You're not going to tune in next week? I hope you do. <laughs> Amen. Anybody can make a mistake. Mm -hmm. It's kind of given. But when you persist in developing a doctrine <coughs> of sin and bring it to the house of God where his name was to be perpetually and now without your vision he's saying the name of the is Ichabod. Mm -hmm. You can write worship something. You can write you can write church. But if the Lord is not there, it's not heavenly. Amen. You can jip, you can jive, you can shuck, you can do all the stuff you want to. But God is looking into your soul. Amen. And he's seeing is his word there. You can pray right now where you are. 
all over this building and all over where my voice is heard. You can say, Lord, search me. They were saying, this is a hard saying. Who can hear it? You can hear it. If you let what it says to your soul be answered by, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the way are they that heard, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should be lead and be saved. Two steps. They on the rock are they which, when they heard, received the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. <clears throat> and that which fell among the thorns are they, which, when they have heard, life and bring no fruit to perfection but that on good ground are they which are in an honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring forth Receiving the word with joy doesn't mean you really believe. It means you have intellectual assent and accepted that you have no disputation against it. And it makes sense as long as you're hearing it. But the heart has to believe. And with the heart, we believe the word of God, that it will purge our hearts, that it will change our nature, that it will house the one whom God is well pleased in, and the life we now live in this life, we live by the faith of the Son of God who gave his life that we might live. Where you are right now, you can accept Christ. Yes. You can reject him. Each rejection strengthens your resolve not to do what God says to. And just as those who had thorns, stones, and just by the wayside, some of you accepted to be a Christian 
just because you were in a family where Christianity was the rule. And the fear of hell brought you in to say, well, that makes sense. I can live with that. But can Christ live in you with what you have ruling in your life today? You are as sure for hell today as the day you first assented to the truth and did not believe it in your heart. People don't preach about hell anymore because they think things are so bad here. I'm not thinking about the devil poking me because he's going to be punished in hell. I'm not worried about being on a rotisserie over flames, though the Bible speaks of the flame being tormentous. But I'm thinking about being out of the presence of God. That ouch won't be heard by him. The gnashing and the weeping won't be a feeling of our infirmity that he satisfied. Because we have the scripture, we have the spirit, and we have the opportunity. Today, I'm going to ask that you do what I used to hear Jerry Falwell say on his radio show when he was preaching what I thought was the gospel. Then he got political. He said, make the decision today that you will be glad you made when you stand before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Make it today. Yes. Don't put it off. Christ died for our sins. And the design of his atonement was to change how God looked at us. And our faith in what he did changed how we looked at God. So our sins were atoned for and the redemption was won and sit on the ground, the good ground of atonement. And it continues to unfold in us through sanctification, our redemption, until the day our bodies are redeemed from the grave. And up from the grave we'll rise and in the midair we'll meet the Lord Jesus. Confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ is only a primer. But believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead is a sure thing. You shall be saved. As we are, Lord, we look at ourselves thinking objectively from the inside that we're like the all who have sinned. And since there's a propensity in our flesh for sin, we somehow think it excuses us, us to sin when weakness arises. But as you stand through Paul to the Galatians a little bit later, stand fast in the liberties where with Christ has made us free. Don't go back into the bondage that held us fast from the life he freely gave us. Yes. Forgive the sins of all who stand before you. Yes. O oh Lord, save the soul as Peter's tottering on a decision to do something corruptible, something evil, complete their heart.
and they find that the unclean spirit that went away when he returned will only find you there protecting them from his invasion and those he brings along the next time. We love you for your word. We love you for your truth. We thank you for this day in Jesus.